Hello everyone, my name is Beth and welcome back to my Dragon Age Inquisition Let's Play series. Uh, we've just finished up some side quests in the Hinterlands and we did some more exploring and chatting of the people in Haven. So the next- oh, and off camera I actually got myself some brand new armor. It looks much better than the one I had before. Hopefully it's actually much stronger too, but right now I'm just, you know, the aesthetics. So the next thing we have to do for the story is going to be to go to Val Royo, but before we can go to Val Royo, we have to go get some more power. So we're going to go back to the Hinterlands today, do a few side quests, close a couple rifts to gain more power. We're actually almost there, so we should be able to get that done before the end of the episode. And first, we're going to go to the Chantry, see what's going on there, and go to the War Table. It's been a while since we've been there. What kind of name is Charter, anyway? doesn't sound elven. I said you could call me that, Scout Elaine. I never said it was my name. You're a bit terrifying at times, Charter. Why? Because you're realizing that every elf you casually call knife here Come might have a life you know nothing about. I, I was hoping you. you'd forgotten about that. In, In this line of work, we can afford to forget nothing. Oh, Charter. I like you a lot. I realized last time I didn't actually talk to Josephine. I think she was the only one that I missed. Do you think the mages will be able to seal the breach? I heard some speak of using the Templars instead. Oh. I suppose that would work as well. We'll never know. I will keep the peace while you and the others appeal to the Chantry in Val Royo. Better ready yourself for the blame you will be rightly assigned. So pleasant, Roderick. Such a delight, as always. There was no word for heaven or for earth for sea or Researcher Minave wishes to verify that the infections that have decreased in number. Yes. Then the Thank voice you for of the your maker help. rang out. Tell me, the first are you word, happy this way? And with his word you became all that might away. be. I no longer talk to dragons. I see. Maker, go with you. Greetings, Herald of Andraste. How fares your quest to seal the breach? Well, you know how these things go. At least, I hope someone does. You laugh to bring a little light into the darkness. And I'm glad to see it. Too many see laughter as antithetical to the chant of light. They imagine Andraste as a grim warrior all her life, forgetting that she loved and was loved in return. I hope she found time for laughter during her trials, as I hope you do. I appreciate your insight, Mother Giselle. Take it for whatever it is worth. You walk a difficult path, and there is little enough I can do to aid you. In any case, I pray this Inquisition proves less brutal than its predecessor. I don't really want to know any of those things. Is there anything I can do to help you or your people? My healers would benefit from more supplies. We have run short of even common goods with so many wounded. If you could deliver this list and the items on it to Quartermaster Thren, she could get us what we need. It may not seem like much, but it would enable my healers to save many lives. Farewell. Until next time. Don't have any blood root. Blood lotus? Yes. Ah, Lady Trevelyan. May I have a moment? May have a moment. Yes, Ambassador? I'd like to discuss your parents. See, I'm afraid to flirt with Josephine because I was afraid I really hurt her feelings last time. So. Mm. You must want to know about the seventh most illustrious family in all Ostwick. Or is it eighth? Whatever the rank. It would be helpful to claim your kinsmen as friends. What are your thoughts? Should we approach your family for their formal support of the Inquisition? I feel like that was a little bit of an awkward brag there. Um... Do I like my family? Mm -hmm. Fine. The bands of Trevelyan never turn down a partner if there's something in it for them. 
From the way my relatives scramble for status, you'd think we were all legion. That depends. How much do they like gold brocade? Valroyo has noted your lineage. It gives the Inquisition some legitimacy, although not so much as we'd hoped. Why not? You are from Ostwick. Our legion nobles consider the free marches somewhat... quaint. All legions are just baffled free marchers governing themselves without an empress to hold their hands. A peasant might get away with that insult, but not someone of your stature. Uh, speaking of which, I should thank you for your patience with the simple quarters. The accommodations in Haven are surely rough for someone of your birth. Don't worry about me. Haven's more than livable. Really? If that is how you feel, I'm pleased to hear it. Until next time, my lady. Do you out here? Ha! Deal with the relatives of the Trebellions. Any word? Nothing yet. Dear Lady Montillier, it is true, distant relations of the House Trebellion are claiming close friendship with the Herald of Andraste. A boast that it a boast is one matter, but the boundaries of tact and decency appear to be invisible to those mountbanks. During a ball in the South Quarter, I witnessed a cousin five times removed from Lady Trevelyan threaten to have the Inquisition fight his rival. He quickly left the party after I made my connection with the Inquisition clear, but the problem stands. We must deal with the Herald's relatives taking her name in vain. Lady Buttlethort. Josephine says that this sort of thing is inevitable. Your relations may become more, much more circumspect, circumspect if we promise them future favors. Liliana says, there are ways to indicate our displeasure without tipping our hand. I'm not saying we send assassins, but the rumor of assassins. And Cullen says, the Inquisition isn't a name to throw around lightly. We should openly denounce these people. Um, I like the rumor of assassins. Let's see what we have. Apparently, whomever you keep picking, if you favor one uh, diplomacy or spying or forces more than the other, it influences your game. I don't know if I've ever noticed that, although I do think there's like a brief mention in the epilogue, but I'm very curious if other people have noticed. Uh, Hard in Hightown 3, Varric's Revenge. Ruffles, I need a favor. Actually, let's call it a loan, since I'll pay it back. I got a letter from my editor in Kirkwall today. She tells me that Hard in Hightown 3, the repunchening, appeared in print form from an Antivian printer a couple of weeks ago. I'll give you a moment to contemplate the horror that is that title. <laughs> it's beautiful. Uh. I had my contact in the Merchant's Guild look for the author a couple of years back. The best they could find out, after spending a couple hundred gold, was that Feral Bellenforth is a pen name. I could have told them that for free. You've got contacts with the Antivian Printhouses. Perhaps you could find out more than the Guild from Varric. So Josephine says, I could ask a friend in Antivian City to look in this... To look into this matter, I suppose. Hmm. Cullen doesn't do anything. Lillian is busy. She can do At that. Your service. <laughs> the repunching. Uh, what's that? Rescue? Oh, I need more power for that. Storm Coast. Gather coin. What about this one? I'm not going to read right. that one out loud, it's just kind of boring. But, those three are off on missions then. Nothing else to do but go back to the hinterlands and claim some power. Uh, let's see, there's a rift over here. I still don't know what that quest is.
will come back. Oh. Uh, it's good to have commerce restored. I see. I've many goods here if you wish to trade. So I actually made had enough materials rather to make new outfits for everybody. Barracks is pretty much the same. I think just some color changes, but Cassandra and Solus both have new outfits. I think mine is the best, but I am a little biased. True enough. There's the rift. Not oh, just a mire over there. Gun down! Kill the damn warrior! <laughs> No treasures? Disappointing. Back over here to the rift. Oh, oh goodness. You're everywhere. enough power. Alright, I'll explore this little area then. And we'll go to Valrail. Pretty sure there's something on top of this. Nope, must be up top then. Oh, here we are. Mm, 
jumping might actually kill me. It better not then. Oops. Oops. There we go. Alright, I will explore the rest of that later. Let's do Valrayo first then. Probably take even longer. What's the load screens? Well, Charter's not there. Good luck sealing those rifts. You dislike the Templar sister? No. I know their purpose, but you remember I once ministered in a circle chantry. Yes. I assumed you were used to having Templars around, keeping us safe from the mages. The mages in the Circle follow the Chant of Light as faithfully as the Templars, sister. More faithfully than some Templars, even. Some of the things those Templars did when they thought I did not see. of a way to reverse the right of tranquility. Yes, I have heard them as well. Would you wish to have your self restored? Come I to do me, not child, believe that would be and wise. I shall embrace the number you. of demons present might leave me vulnerable to possession. I might also experience feelings of discomfort over events that occurred while I was in this state. I can survive in this fashion. If I were made creator, whole again, I might whole. not. It Find is a terrible well bargain. We ask you to touch make. me with fire that I be cleansed. Tell me I have sunk to your approval. Ooh. Discovery range with a searching action. I do like that. Extra herbs, arcane knowledge. Mm. More flasks. More experience per codex entry. More XP. XP is not really a problem. It's good. It's not like the end of the... I think I will do searching action because I do like that. And on to Valrayo! The remaining Chantry clerics have been have declared the Inquisition heretical. Attempts to gather allies against the Breach have been rebuffed, and at this moment we could not step foot into the capital without being arrested by a, attacked by a mob or arrested. We must convince the Chantry to permit us entry into the city so we can show them that the Herald of Andraste is not the monster they, they believe. I don't think it's going to work. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask her. I'm more concerned this won't actually solve any problems. I agree. It just lends credence to the idea that we should care what the Chantry says. I will go with her. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. The city still mourns.
Just a guess seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Varric. My Lady Herald! You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. They wish to protect the people? From us? Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are delayed. As you say, my lady. Got clothes. Um, hmm. There's a few things to find around here. I'm not sure if I can do that all yet. Or if I have to do it all now. No, the gates are closed, so. The Inquisition. We don't require that sort of thing in Val Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Templars will help us, is they? Good people of Val hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of her murderer. Well, wonder no more. Behold, the so-called Herald of Andraste, claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet. The Maker would say no mage in our hour of need. Mm. Do you want to be nice about it? Mm. You say I am the enemy. The breach in the sky is our true enemy. We must unite to stop it. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be safe once more. Still yourself. She is beneath us. I mean, I didn't like her either, but she's just an old woman. Good lord. What's the meaning of this? Her claim to authority is an insult, much like your own. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement. Raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet, you should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. Templars, one of your own commands the Inquisition's forces. Join us as he did. You're a mage. Your ties are worthless. They are all made traitors just by being in your company. But Lord Seeker, what if she really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. 
We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing, and the Inquisition less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Charming fellow, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Do you know him very well? He took over the Seekers of Truth two years ago, after Lord Seeker Lambert's death. He was always a decent man, never given to ambition and grandstanding. This is very bizarre. It doesn't look like we'll be getting the Templars to help us after all. I wouldn't write them off so quickly. There must be those in the Order who see what he's become. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. My only regret with picking, well, picking either side, really, is that you're completely cut off from the others. So I'm definitely picking the mages this round, but I really wish that you could save, like, Sir Barris, who was the one who was talking and saying, hey, maybe we should listen a little bit. Because there's really no option. It's either all or nothing. Which I find I understand, but still. Excuse me, but is what they're saying real? The Inquisition's going to fix the hole in the sky? We're going to give it a try, at least. No one is doing anything. The Chantry's useless, and the Templars... Andraste... I never thought they'd abandon us. Listen, your camp will need food. I have contacts. We'll have deliveries there in days. You want to help the Inquisition? Never been part of something this big before, but... If your Inquisition's going to seal the sky, I want to help. What do you think, Cassandra? I think the woman is asking you and not me. <laughs> well, she is. The Herald of Andraste. Yes, I understand. Haven is a mess, but we won't turn away anyone willing to help. Invite her, if it pleases you. Head to Haven, then. We need good people. I don't know if I'm that, but... It will be nice to see. Thank you. Excellent. So we need more power to go get... Where are we going? To the Storm Coast? And we need more power to go to the other place that I've already forgotten about. And then we need more power to pick either the Pen Mages or the Templars. The has What's that? An arrow with a message? Mm -hmm. Fetch their Templars back, I wonder. Favors for favors for friends. A message is attached, written in a large flowing hand and bordered with doodles. People say you're special. I want to help and I can bring everyone. There's a baddie in Val Royo. I hear he wants to hurt you. Have a search for the red things in the market, the docks, and around the cafe. And maybe you'll meet him first. Bring swords. Friends of Red Jenny. And of course we need to get Sarah. My maker, no my heart. Take from me a life of sorrow. Comfort is only yours to give. Oh, Maker, where is the comfort? Look away. I have broken the chant because it comes from my heart. What have we when our divine is dead and the sky burns? What do you mean you broke the chant? Are you also ignorant of the Maker's most basic rites? The chant of light is how we honor the Maker. They are the only words that the faithful should hear from my lips. But I can't. Our divine is dead. Our Templars gone. The Maker's silence is deafening. What hope have we? The Inquisition can give you the answers you need. So. I have a faith I've lost, or one that seeks to drive it from me. I can't even look to our Templars. How is this not darkness? I don't think I've had that conversation before. I feel like I picked the wrong answer. I wonder if I can recruit him. The one who repents, who has faith... Oops, how do I... Blessed are the righteous... Oh, nope, he just keeps going. Okay. Uh, 
Castro. The Templar. I believe that me You are the Herald of Andraste, are you not? I have an invitation for you. You are cordially attended. <laughs> invitation, the first enchanter, Vivienne. You are cordially invited to attend my salon held at the Chateau of Duke Bastien. Do I can never pronounce his last name. Yours, Vivienne de Fer, first enchanter of Mosmard, enchanter to the Imperial Court. Wish, Vivienne, that I liked you more, because you are such a great fighter. However, Vivienne. Grab up those codex entries. I very much want to get a completed codex, but I don't actually think that you can. Because I think even things like your starting race will influence the codexes that you get, and you can't get the ones from, say, like an elf, can't get a humans, etc. I'll have to actually do some research into it, because one of my run throughs, I was trying very hard to get the whole thing. I don't even know if it's possible. Is there anything even in here? No. Don't really want to buy and sell. Do a bit more exploring. Ooh, what's that quest? A friend oh right. Find the things for Sarah. Make her be with you. Let's look around. Let's. We maintain an Inquisition presence on Commander Cullen's orders. This has been received as you might expect. <laughs> How on earth do I get a level up? Oh, that's exciting. What? What's here? Oh, there's a book. Another plaque. I don't think they knew. Oh, I forgot that reading these things gives me experience. Well, huh. Yes, thank you. What? Yes, I'm sorry. Minding the duties of the Ailing mother, Havara. I am rather overwhelmed. Forgive me. Now? I am unsure whether I meant to extend chantry services to you, and that troubles me greatly. Inquisition, eh? I'll sell. But if the Chantry censures you, I'm not liable. No offense, but I have to live here, and Val Royo can be traditional. That's right, I've got to get the other things here. I don't think there's anything up here. I also wish Valroyo was a place you could explore a little bit more. There's an awful lot of places that I can't get to. These truths the maker has revealed oh, search the upper market. As there is but, one world, but I did. One That's life, okay, we'll do that after. One death, there is but one god, and he is our maker. They left us. Templars left us to the mages. Chantry liars. You know, mages aren't all that bad. I'm just saying. Open? Yes, as open as I can be. Uh, if you've a need for the well cut or the sparkling, perhaps I can help. At the very least, we can appear like everything is normal. Yes. This victory must please you greatly, Sika Cassandra. We came here seeking only to speak with the mothers, 
This is not our doing, but yours. And you had no part in forcing our hand? Do not delude yourself. Now we have been shown up by our own Templars, in front of everyone. And my fellow clerics have scattered to the wind along with their convictions. Just tell me one thing. If you do not believe you are the Maker's Chosen, then what are you? Someone who can help close the breach and end this madness. That is... more comforting than you might imagine. I suppose it is out of our hands now. We shall all see what the Maker plans in the days to come. It's not too late. The Chantry could still help us and come out on top. If only that were true. What's to stop you from trying? We are not looking for a winning horse. We are simply trying to do the right thing. So am I, but you all decided I was evil. Rude. And I shall embrace you. In my arms lies eternity. Not all right. They left us. The Templars left us to the mages. They say a lot about you. Can't believe any of it. Always forget to save. With my luck, it'll glitch again and I'll have to redo it again. Good day. Hello, sir. I can't believe this. Oh, my. Am I not getting any of these ones? No? Alright. I think this is the guy that sells the codexes, but I don't know if you can still get all of them. Anywho, come to me, child, and I there shall is embrace another red you. handkerchief. In my arms lies eternity. Oh, I forgot there's a hole upstairs. On a scrap of parchment is hastily torn from an ornate document stuffed into its hiding space with a large red sock. Harold, go at time. Praise and trust. <laughs> I love Sarah. She's so weird and vague. before we head off for the day. Will it matter? Maybe. I 
want to explore everywhere. Even in Orle, which is pretty much objectively terrible. That's right. Is that? I think that's a nug mount that you can ride around on. I think. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. enough exploring here for today. Let's head back to Haven. If I might have a moment of your time. Grand Enchanter Fiona? Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering. And I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps you should look among your fellow mages. That would have been my first choice if you'd been willing to speak with us. We're willing now. That's the important thing. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my lady Herod. Come, let us return to Haven. Alright, so I think that's going to be it for this video today. We met Fiona, we met the Lord Seeker, unfortunately. We've got quests to get Sarah and Vivian. So I think we'll be doing a lot of those things next time and also spending time in the hinterlands to get more power to get more friends. Anyways, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.